Hey guys, it has come to my attention that I haven't done a system test in like way too long. So here we go, this is going to be system test 9. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm starting off at the panel today because I have some good and bad news. The bad news is this may be the last time that you see this panel in a system test. It has done its job very well, but I am currently developing a new panel that will be 10 times better than this one and not have all these wires everywhere that like come apart all the time and cause it to not work right. So yeah. Anyway, let's get to what devices I have up. For Pole Station 1, I have the Honeywell S464-A. Pole Station number 2, we have a Honeywell S464-B. It is kind of rare, I think, because I'll open it later, but it is not an S464-A, it's an S464-B, which I've never seen before. Okay, this is me and the editor, and I actually never showed this in any of my footage, I'm kind of mad at myself, but if I can get this station open, that wrong. If you look right here, S464B and 1010, so S464B, pretty cool. And last but not least, I wish I had another S464, but I had to do the next best thing. We have the Notifier NBG10L. Yeah, this is a very nice pole station, it has a key lock. And I really like it. If I had two more of these, I would have done all of these because, yeah, they're pretty cool. So for the notification appliances, we have the Wheelock WS-24 remote strobe in here. It is a very nice strobe. And I'm guessing you guys can probably guess what the horn strobes are, considering I have this up. Out here, I have the Wheelock 7002T. But actually, I lied. <laughs> I'm really mean. I have something way rarer than the 7002T. We have the Wheelock EH-EL1-WS-24. This is an electronic horn strobe with three uh, coding, not coding options. It has three tones on it, so it's actually a multi-tone horn strobe, even though it looks like a chime strobe, it's pretty cool. It also has volume settings, which I'm very happy about, so I don't kill my ears every time I set this thing off. And finally, in my room, I have another very rare Wii Lock. Yeah, I'm not gonna say them all again, I can't remember it, and it takes me so long to say it. <laughs> but yeah, I really like these devices. They are the coolest things ever. Like, in my collection right now, they're like my favorite alarms. Because they just look so dang cool. I mean, you can't not like them. So yeah. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna set the alarm off. Hopefully it sounds, it's like the third time I've tried to do this. So here we go. This is why that panel needs to be replaced. Here we go. and I'm replacing this panel, these LEDs like to be stupid. But yeah, let's go ahead and reset that pole station. I think it might be reset already, but I gotta check real quick. Station was in fact reset, so let's go ahead and reset the panel. All right, here we go. Zone three is activated, let's reset. All right, now we are gonna go ahead and activate this new S464B that I have in the hallway. It's kind of a pain to reset, but it's a very cool pole station, so let's show it in action. Here we go. Yep, 
reset the system again. And the last pole station we have to test is this S464A. So yeah. I forgot to mention this kind of wonky mounting job I had to do with this because of the screw the uh the reset holes in the top. And if I mounted it on the normal box, which is the red one, I wouldn't be able to get something in there because of the main panel's cabinet. So yeah, with that explanation out of the way, let's go ahead and pull the last pull station on the system. Here we go. reset so yeah all right since people probably want to see it we're gonna go ahead and do another coding option and i'm actually gonna do this because it is accurate for the time of these devices on the old firelight panel or something it's gonna hurt my ears but it is pretty cool so yeah all right so if you haven't guessed the panel is on continuous and yeah, sorry about my shaky camera, by the way. I, like, I don't know, I'm cold or something today. It's cold out. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the BG-10. Actually, let's key activate the BG-10 since I've already pulled it. And I think that's going to wrap this up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am very happy with these devices. They are the coolest things ever. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy seeing them in action. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And have a nice day.